I am Charles Vanderpool, and I am the Medical Director of Nutrition Support at Riley Hospital for Children at IU Health. I will be reviewing our team's initiatives to improve malnutrition recognition among hospitalized children at our institution. During this presentation, we will review a quality improvement initiative at Riley Hospital focusing on malnutrition awareness. We will discuss initial nutrition assessment of children at our institution. We will also review possible inpatient documentation strategies to improve recognition of malnutrition. We will then discuss the impact of these initiatives to improve malnutrition recognition in a pediatric hospital setting. Our team began focusing on malnutrition awareness in 2017. Previously at our institution, very few initiatives focused on malnutrition recognition and treatment. Our initiatives focused on education at all provider levels, including dietitians, residents, fellows, and faculty. We provided hospital-wide lectures, including grand rounds and lunch and learn conferences to lay a foundation for current and future practice. Because isolated education is often poorly sustained, we have provided yearly education updates in similar forums, including resident noon conferences. We will talk more about inpatient initial nutrition assessment and documentation initiatives we have used at our institution. All patients submitted to our hospital undergo an initial nutrition risk assessment, pictured to the right. This is completed by the bedside nurse. A positive answer yes or a positive diagnosis or medical condition results in an automatic dietitian consult for medical nutrition therapy assessment. Additional triggers for RD consult include provider request, length of stay greater than seven days, or any internal or parenteral orders. The dietitian confirms accurate anthropometrics and also assigns a malnutrition diagnosis, if applicable, based on measurements or history per Aspen guidelines. Education initiatives focused on the importance of physician recognition, documentation, and treatment. To improve physician recognition, multiple documentation strategies were also used. A nutrition diagnostic statement was made standard in all dietitian documentation templates, featured in the red box and corresponding malnutrition diagnosis based on weight loss seen in the growth chart above. We then generated an auto text statement where physicians would only need to chart equals mal statement and then press enter to have this statement pulled forward word for word into their documentation. This was to improve recognition, but also appropriate assessment of severity and cause to help guide medical decision making. Physicians have also been encouraged to enter the malnutrition diagnosis into the patient's problem list, which automatically inserts the diagnosis into the assessment and plan portion of documentation. Members of the nutrition support team met with the Clinical Documentation Integrity, or CDI, team frequently to evaluate trends in malnutrition recognition. This was to determine if initiatives were improving recognition and also reducing the number of unspecified malnutrition diagnoses. Or a, number, or a malnutrition diagnosis with insufficient information to determine severity or cause. Initiatives began in 2017. Between 2016 and 2017, there was a modest increase in recognition of malnutrition as initiatives began. However, there has been consistent improvement in recognition since 2017 with an increase in severe and moderate malnutrition diagnoses seen here. Mild malnutrition diagnoses also increased since 2017, and we have seen a decrease in unspecified malnutrition diagnoses, albeit relatively stable since the initial decrease in 2018. Further analysis of data has shown that the increase in percentage of malnutrition diagnosis was greatest in moderate and mild malnutrition following decrease in unspecified malnutrition in 2018. The proportion of each malnutrition diagnosis as a percentage of total diagnoses has stayed relatively stable. To evaluate if the increase in recognition was related to an increase in patient volume, we evaluated malnutrition diagnosis as a percentage of total discharges. Seen here, the percentage of malnutrition diagnoses has increased, indicating that the increase in recognition is not related to an increase in patient volume. In summary, we placed a focus on education, documentation, and documentation efficiency to improve malnutrition initiatives. To evaluate the success of our initiatives, we had ongoing review of our document with our documentation team and have had ongoing education efforts to sustain awareness improvements. These initiatives led to improved recognition of malnutrition and reduced number of unspecified malnutrition diagnoses. Ongoing efforts have led to improvement each year since 2017 when we began our efforts. Future initiatives include dietitian-led education to improve length and height measurements, including QR codes placed on measurement devices. These QR codes are associated with educational videos. 
Special thanks to members of our nutrition support team, as well as our clinical documentation integrity team. I'd also like to thank Aspen for allowing us to share our experience on malnutrition awareness.